what if we we find ourselves in an environment in 2024 where the economy starts to overheat, where the S&P is up 20%, home prices are up another 10%, and they have to say, holy shit, we got we to gotta tighten again. Is that possible that we see that we see those conditions ease too quickly? Well, the, the thing that's actually interesting is if you look at the market pricing on the short rate market, you're actually seeing, you're seeing a lot of people piling into expectations of them easing, but what you're seeing is actually uh, the probability of, of hikes next year starting to rise in that short rate market. And so people are, start, you know, I think a, a lot of folks, the, the smart money is looking at the set of conditions and saying the odds that there's a hike next year are not zero. They're getting higher because of the way that they're behaving. Bob, everyone, everyone uh, was like very good about pointing out the lag effect of hikes and why aren't we seeing it show up and why aren't, why aren't spreads blowing out and why isn't this and why isn't that? Why wouldn't it work in the same way? So the so the Fed now indicating that its next move is an easing. Michael's point, like, what if the stock market runs up? Blah blah blah. Shouldn't there be lag effects to cuts? We have no like we have no evidence that the stock market running up will bring back about inflation. We have the opposite experience. If you if you think about uh, 2012, 2013, stocks were ripping higher, like 50 and 60 percent rally. Uh, and we didn't get any inflation. Yeah, because remember that that was the jobless recovery. Right. It was the asset man's recovery, the asset owner's recovery. That's right. But it was the, the jobless recovery. But we have we have the opposite right now. We have a a unemployment's at three point seven percent. Yeah. Right. We're adding. You know, essentially, we're. I mean, but the, the reason but my why point is the stock growth, market wouldn't be the thing that causes it. It's the employ the employment, the employment market and the and yeah absolutely okay which is that the nominal income nominal income today like uh, income growth for for high spending cohorts like under one hundred fifty thousand dollars is growing between five and six percent a year that's up two to three percent relative to where we were in twenty nineteen so just think about that like that's the structural gap in the economy 